This is the story of how my wife made me deaf for 24 hours and I had to go to the doctor to get this huge ball of earwax out of my ear. It went viral on TikTok. Here's my wife's video. That one time I tried helping my husband and clog his ears, but ended up clogging them even more making him deaf for 20 hours. Look at that thing. You! I commented, for real though, I couldn't hear Jack Diddley squat. I thought it was in a quiet place, part three or something. My boy can hear what Mosquito's talking about. Finally, someone can hear what the fuck says. Bro be hearing colors. When woman. Here's the story. So we just got engaged, went to dinner, and I gave my wife a photo book of different memories, like the time there was a giant snake in our class. But this is the story you guys came to hear. Oh, when I was deaf for a day. We were having a blast at Nickel Cage, just won the coin pusher game, won a few thousand tickets, and then I was deaf. No, just kidding. Well, my wife shoved a Q-tip down my ear, and I couldn't hear anything. She shoved earwax all the way down to the back of my ear, which made me deaf. You should try hydrogen peroxide. Yeah, well, it didn't work. So we went to Walmart to see if they had anything that would help, and they had this spray bottle thing made for ears, so reasonably, we got these ear candle things instead. And yeah, those didn't do jack dilly squat for me. So yeah, did I mention that this happened in both ears? <laughs> this clip was 24 hours later. Like, how do we not learn our lesson, like, after the first year? So we drive over to the hospital, I still can't hear anything, we go inside, and the nurse literally uses this spray bottle from Walmart. It felt so good to get the earwax out, like when you have water in your ear and it comes out, and it's like so satisfying. It was like that, but ten times better. There we go. Finally, someone can hear what the fox says. My boy can hear what mosquitoes is talking about. It was disgusting, it like looked like a bumblebee or something. Little chunks out. Dude, that is disgusting, it looks like... I don't even know. That's huge, though. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Is that yeah. huge, too? <laughs> Ew. Okay, let me just... Anyways, here's the nasty earwax bean things. You'll probably never want to eat sugar babies again. Anyways, the moral of this story is don't let your girlfriend stick anything in your ear, ever, and don't let her pick at you. Wasn't this last night? Yeah, that was last night.